whack it with every gear. Hey guys, it's Rowan from Wax Sports, and today I've just decided to make this video uh, as a follow up to the last one about cricket bat preparation. Um, today I'm just going to go over knocking in a bit more. It's a sort of topic a lot of people have questions about. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just do a kind of a comparison video between hand knocking and knocking with the uh, machine we're lucky enough to have here at Wax Sports. Um, so to start off, I went over knocking in the last video. I'm just going to go over it again quickly for anyone who missed out. But the purpose of knocking in is to uh, harden your cricket bat after it's been pressed. So all bats come pressed from the factory. Knocking in accentuates the press, but means it's not as hard as uh, press would um, press a cricket bat. So it's soft enough that you still have the performance, but it's hard enough that it will withstand a cricket ball coming 160k an hour. So um, to, before you knock in your cricket bat, we do recommend oiling, and we actually do that process here. But if you want to oil your bat at home, what you do um, is you buy some raw linseed oil. We don't recommend any other oil. Don't use any car oil. Don't use anything like that. Uh, raw linseed oil, it's available at the hardware stores. It's available here. We sell it in little tubs. Um, so what you do, you put a, uh, a medium uh, sort of film on the face of your cricket bat and you spread it all over. So avoid the stickers, avoid the splice, um, and then put uh, a coat on the edges as well. Um, and then leave it um, on the ground to dry for 24 hours. The reason you put it um, on the ground or on a, a flat surface is so that the gravity can actually pull the, um, the oil into the cricket bat and it can actually absorb it. So you want your cricket bat to be about 8% to 11% um, moisture uh, content and that's, that's what it does. So that's what two coats of oil does. On the second coat of oil, you don't need to uh, oil the edges because what that does, the more oil in the edges, makes it harder to stick your extra tech sheet because the edges are where you are the hardest part of the sheet to stick. So if you plan on having extra tech, if you plan on having edge tape, um, it makes your life pretty hard having uh, uh, really moist edges and you don't really need it because you're not hitting the, the ball with that part of the bat most of the time. Um, you don't actually need to oil the back of your cricket bat either, just the face and the edges. Um, so after you've oiled it and it's been 48 hours and the oil is completely, completely dry, um, your bat should be a little bit uh, darker than it was to begin with, but not too much. Um, you can always sand the color away, whatever you want to do. Um, after that, you can start knocking in your cricket bat. So you use one of these, uh, a cricket bat mallet. Um, and the way you knock in your cricket bat is you start on the face. So um, you start softly hitting from about the top of the sticker right down to the toe. Um, when you're hitting on the uh, blade, you can use a little bit of force when you get to the toe. Um, use a little less force because the toe is the most vulnerable area of the cricket bat. Um, that's where there's the least wood behind uh, the shoulders and the toe. So they're the two most vulnerable areas. Um, the worst part about the toe is you can try and dig out a Yorker, try and hit it for six or four. and you, We've all been get guilty of that, get a big dent in the toe or worse, like a crack or something. Um, so you've got to take a lot of um, extra time on the toe and be careful with it. You don't want to don't hit it too hard and, and break your cricket bat in the knocking in process. Um, so yeah, be softer on the toe and when it comes to the edges you just want to be really soft and round them. Um, yeah, so after that um, you take it to the nets. So we recommend 10 nets, um, about half an hour in length. Uh, start off with underarming old balls. So what that does, um, every time you hit a ball you can check for seam marks. If you've got any seam marks of any kind you need to keep doing the knocking in because your bat's too soft. Um, it's easy to check that if you haven't got any um, extra tech or tape on the face because you're just hitting exposed willow and you can tell if you've got a seam mark you need to keep knocking it with the mallet to make it harder otherwise it's probably likely to break. Um, even if you've given it six, seven hours all bats are different so um, that's where our machine um, definitely comes into play as being better than hand knocking because every bat we knock in here we give it 15,000 machine knocks. So that's more knocks than you'd be able to give by your hand. Unless you want to spend months and months knocking in your cricket bat and annoying your neighbours and your family and your friends. Um, 15,000 knocks is pretty comprehensive. Um, our machine has sensors in it, so it knows when it's going to the edges. It knows when it's going to the toe. Um, it does it softer. It does it better than anyone could hand knock in a cricket bat. But um, if you do want to hand knock it yourself, that's, that's your decision. Um, any bat we sell comes pre knocks so uh, we will knock it in for you. Um, as long as you're happy with that, we'll put it on our machine. 15,000 knocks takes about an hour, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. 
and your bat's ready to go. So it's ready to go straight into the nets. You skip that whole phase where you're using the mallet, you're annoying everyone in your household and even your neighbors and your teammates, whatever. So that's, that's the benefit of having the machine. Um, and obviously it's, it's really a peace of mind thing knowing that we are preparing your cricket bat. Um, being a big cricket retailer, we obviously uh, know what we're doing when it comes to um, preparation and knocking in. So that's peace of mind for you, that's peace of mind for us. Um, we do, um, like I said before, we do knock in bats um, brought from our store for free, so free of charge. Um, they also come with a bat care kit and a, um, a bat cover. Uh, if you do buy a bat from another retailer, we also do knock it in um, for a small cost. But we can have that done in an hour. Um, just depends on how many bats we have to knock in. Um, I hope this video has cleared up any confusion um, with knocking in because one of the biggest problems is uh, everyone thinks they have to do it differently. So no matter where you buy your cricket bat from, everyone kind of tells you a different thing. Hopefully this eliminates um, some of that confusion um, that customers have when they come and talk to us. Um, one of the biggest questions we have about our knocking in machine that I did forget to highlight before is people are afraid that the edges and the toe won't be knocked in properly. Um, our, our machine actually does have sensors, so it knows when it's knocking the edges, it knows when it's knocking the toe, it rounds the edges, it goes lighter on the toe, it knocks your bat in 100%. Um, we, we have very, very minimal returns with these, so we do really, really recommend this service. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video has cleared up the confusion you had. Um, hopefully now you do know the correct techniques, how to oil your cricket bat, how to knock in your cricket bat. Um, you know that this service exists if you do want to get your cricket bat um, prepared professionally. So. Um, if you like what you've seen, um, feel free to like, subscribe, comment and share. Um, the next video will be about um, how to clean up, how to um, make your old bat look like new again, keep it going for a few more seasons. So hopefully see you tune into that one and share it with your mates. Thank you.